This video will cover how to make an assignment with a due date inside your My Language Lab course. From the Today's view, go to Course Content and then choose the Assign Content option. This will bring you to an area where on the left hand side of the page you will see your My Course area. We have organized this area into folders correlating the chapters or lessons in the textbook you have decided to use with your My Language Lab. You can browse and open any of these folders and assign any of the content that you see inside. For example, you can click and open any folder by clicking on the name of it. Once you open that folder, you always know where you are by the white box that appears above the maroon toolbar. Inside that folder, you may see subfolders of additional content that goes specifically with that chapter. Most instructors like to assign out of the student activities manual, so I'll be using that as an example today. However, please know that you can assign from any of the other folders and items that you may find inside of these folders. Click on the word Student Activities Manual that is shown to the student. This means the student will also have access to this folder and any activities or content that is shown inside this folder. Click on the name to open it and you will now see a list of activities that go with our Student Activities Manual for the textbook that you're using. You can preview any of these activities by clicking on the name of the activity and it will open up in a new window so you can preview the activity and if this activity has any audio component, you are also able to listen and hear the audio component. You can answer the questions if you choose, but if you would rather just look at the directions, be able to listen to any audio, at any point you can close out of the activity and go right back to the course content area. I would also like to quickly point out two important icons that you will always see inside a My Language Lab course structure. These icons are very important to helping you make and choose your assignments. The first icon you, will, you may run into is an icon that looks like a media film strip. It's blue with a little red triangle. This icon represents that that particular activity is a multimedia based activity. This can include a number of different types of multimedia, including listening files or video. The other icon you may see looks like a pencil. It will always be to the right hand side of the activity name and if you ever see this pencil, this pencil represents that that particular activity is a non-machine graded activity or in other words an instructor graded activity. The majority of activities inside your My Language Lab course will get machine graded and if you don't see a pencil next to any activity that means that that activity is a machine graded item including if you just see the multimedia icon alone with the name of the activity this also means that it's machine graded. It's only when you see a pencil icon that represents that that particular activity would require your grading. You are able to grade these activities and provide feedback and comments back to your students all inside the My Language Lab course. And this grade will also report to your gradebook and be included in any averages. For instructions on how to grade an instructor graded activity, please see that separate training video. Notice too, you may sometimes see the media icon with the instructor grading pencil. I always say that the pencil trumps it all and the pencil represents that this activity is instructor graded but it also incorporates some multimedia whether that be a listening activity or potentially a voice recording. These voice recordings allow your students to submit in a recording to you and you will then get an alert letting you know you have a recording to grade and you can grade that recording, give feedback and a oral response back to your student and this all reports to your gradebook. Now let's go over the steps that you need to do to make an assignment with a due date. There are three important steps you must complete to do this and they're very simple and easy. On the left hand side, the first step is to select the items that you want to assign to a due date on the calendar. To select an item, all you need to do is to click on the box on the left hand side of the name of the activity with your mouse. This will make a check mark appear in that box. If you check off something by accident and wish to uncheck it, all you need to do is recheck the box and it will go back to an unchecked state. And you can always check it again later. 
select as many or as little activities as you want, and also keeping in mind too that while you're selecting activities you wish to add to a day on the calendar, you can still preview any activity that you want and it will save your check marks. For instance, I've checked off two items on my list here and now I might want to preview the next item. I can click and open that item, preview it in a new window, listen to any of the audio, and close that window and still be able to check off that item and notice my previous check marks are still saved in my window. Once you have selected a group of activities that you wish to assign to a day on the calendar, is you're now on to step number two. Step number two is to select a day on the calendar. You can select any day you wish into the future. Notice too that you can use the arrows at the top of the calendar to go into a different month. So you can plan to make an assignment as far in advance as you choose. I'm going to select a day on the calendar and notice that day is now highlighted in a bold black box. Also to note that that day is also represented towards the bottom middle of the page as well. The last and final step is to click the middle box that says add to selected day. By clicking this box you will then be assigning any of the items that you selected on the left to the day you selected on the right on the calendar. By clicking this box you will also now have an alarm clock icon appear on the course calendar to the day that these assignments are due. Now your students will have access to these assignments before this due date, but after this due date they will be penalized for not completing any assignments that they didn't do. Also note that in the middle, towards the middle bottom of the page, you will see a list of the items that you chose to assign to that day on the calendar. And on the left hand side of the page, you notice you have an assign column. This assign column is great to let you know while you're making your course assignments which items you have already chosen to assign to the course calendar. If you see an alarm clock next to an activity or item in the, in the list, that means that you have already chosen to assign this item. And and if you put your mouse on the alarm clock, you will be able to see the due date and time of when it is assigned and due on the calendar. Now at this point, you have the ability to add additional items to a day on the calendar that already has an alarm clock. You can add more items from this particular folder, or you can easily navigate to any other area of your course, whether that be into another chapter or lesson or into a different subfolder. For example, if you wanted to also assign some additional practice exercises, you can go into that chapter's additional practice folder and pick and choose items from this list as well. The same steps apply. Select the items you wish to assign if you haven't moved your mouse from the calendar, notice that the present due date that I just assigned to is still selected, so I do not need to reselect it. And click the Add button. This will then take those two items I checked off on the left and now also have them assigned to the same day on the calendar, and they will appear towards the bottom of the list. If I want to assign activities or items to another day on the calendar, all I need to do is select a different day with my mouse, and now on the left hand side of the page, navigate anywhere you'd like and select additional items and assign them to the new day on the calendar. One additional thing that you can use the calendar for is to add a note to your students. You can place a note on the calendar on any day you'd like, including days that do not have an alarm clock or an assignment yet. To add a note to the calendar, all you need to do is select the day that you wish to add the note to and click on the Add a Note button that will appear towards the middle bottom of the page next to the day that you've selected. When you click Add a Note, a new window will open and now you have the liberty to type in a message that will be visible to your students. Some instructors like to use this for multiple different reasons, so feel free to get creative with this note feature. Some instructors like to add in any additional directions or specific instructions to their students about what is due on that day. Some instructors like to add reminders about in-class quizzes or tests, or if a project is due. Once you have typed in the note you wish to add, click Save and Close. 
And notice now that you will see a note icon on the day on the calendar. You can also edit this note by clicking on a day on the calendar and you will see the note appear towards the middle bottom of the page. You can choose the edit button or if you wish to completely remove the note, click delete. Your students will also see these icons on their side and be able to access and view any notes or due dates ahead of time and start working on their homework. This concludes how to make an assignment with a due date inside your My Language Lab course.